everyone, this is Audie, and welcome to my studio here outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I'm part of a worldwide YouTube artist and creator collaboration that goes from today, July 17th, through July 20th. So check everyone out with hashtag love summer art to find what everyone else is doing. They're going to have all original content for you guys. I wanted to show you first some finished mermaids that I did for a mermaid swap entitled Under the Sea, which is in one of the artist group. And another thing that I'm working on currently is another project in a group. And this is supposed to be things given to you and you have to figure out what to do with it. You have a clothespin and some items sent to you and all the girls in the group that are in this project together were mailed materials to complete. But you can also add your own. Just use your imagination to see what you come up with. So yesterday I sat down and I painted the girl's face and cut her out, glued her on chipboard. And now I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to go with her. And as soon as I sat down to film and looked at her, this is her body and I painted on her legs. I'm trying to figure out exactly how tall I want her body to be. And I'll probably use, I noticed this, I always use scraps. I recycle everything. And I just happen to see this old piece of washi tape and something that I received in the mail. So I'm going to pull it off and see how it looks for her body. Kind of give me an idea of where I want to go, maybe. So I am going to put this here here and then I can start making her skirt so there we go we have part of her body her head this is going to go in here I was playing around last night and I found this in my little box of doodads and I decided that this would probably be cute to put in her hair something like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step back for a minute decide where to go from here and be right back okay what I've decided to do is to go ahead and use a piece of scrap to kind of make her body a little longer and build her a little skirt. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw her a body extension. I may have to cut it off later, maybe a little big. So this will be probably her head here and then this would bring her waist probably about here. So I'm going to draw her a little skirt over here and more than likely we'll change this later more than likely I'm one of those that creates as I go along and I really don't have a plan I just see how things are looking and just what comes about from the process itself Okay, so we're going to cut her out wise with her head. I don't want her head to look ginormous, but 
but since she is a little in whimsical, I don't want it to look too small either. So let's see what this does for her. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. So what I'm going to do is check out her top again with the washi tape. See how we like it. I want to get all the colors in there too. Fold it over. Okay. And we can come over here and I think another thing that I want to do with her is to give her some arms that move, which are articulated in several sections. These might be too heavy, I'm not really sure. I have some that I have cut out for my silhouette. And I'm thinking that these might do just the trick for her. They are just the size that we're looking for. So let's see here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is to paint her arms and use these little arms for her. So it goes this way and this way. So let's put this aside for now. And these are a little flimsy, so I may make these a little thicker, which is probably exactly what I'm going to do because they are really flimsy. So I'll take out, I like the decorated side, so I'm going to take these. I'm going to put these on here. I'm going to use some Fabrifix Fast Dry Quick Dry Glue. It works really well with gluing things down. It's my favorite medium for gluing. Take that. Glue. Okay, we'll set this side for a second and take a look at her again. I think that I really, really like these two pieces that were mailed to me. I think I really like them. I somehow fold them over. I'm going to secure them with a little glue so they don't come off. Right in here. And allow 
allow these pieces to dry and then when we're ready we can place them in her hair right here somewhere so we'll set this aside and let that dry now the rules are we can do whatever we want so I'm thinking I might use all the pieces I might not use all the pieces but we'll just have to see how it goes here so an extra piece these are ready to paint I think so <clears throat> let's get some flesh tone paint some strips of ribbon to add to her and cut out the limbs so now I want to actually put the hole punches in them make sure I have the right size there's two different sizes and I want the smaller one Put one there and along the edge Got to be careful with these because they're so small that if you get them too close to the end, then you mess it up. I've done that several times. All right, let's get another look at her here. I think I've decided that I would like to make her head move too. So I'm going to need to put a punch in her neck. And the top of the body. Looks good. I think I want to stack them like this. Attach her head. There we go. Now her head and her arms move. So now we want to attach the lower limbs here. I think before I'm noticing that I really should have distressed the edges so they pop out a little more. So I'm going to do that now before I add the other ones. So we'll give the arms a little bit of depth.
ready to add the skirt. What I wanted to do is fix these behind the clothespin. So let me grab some glue. One more look real quick. Okay, now these pieces here, let's see how we're gonna attach these. Probably we can glue those behind and just have them hang down. See which piece looks better on which side. I cut some more ribbon. Some of my favorite ribbon. I am a ribbon fiend. And they're going to get to audition for the part here. Let's see. Do I want to use this? Maybe. These I really, really love. These two. So I picked out some of my favorite ribbon that I might want to add. So let's see how it looks. Looks the best. This is one of the hardest parts for me because my creative side of my brain that I live in most of the time loves color and narrowing it down for me sometimes is <laughs> it becomes a challenge because I like so many things I decided to use both of them. When in doubt, use them all. So we're going to glue one on top of the other one. Let it get this quick drying so it should only take a minute or so. And while that's drying, I'm going to look at here. And I'm thinking to add a little bit more interest to the piece. I wanted to bring out some washi tape maybe. If it doesn't work, I don't like it. It's a good safe option for me because I can just peel it off. But if I paint it, you can just sew over it too. But if I wanted to keep the pattern that's currently on here, if I wanted to keep the pattern that's currently on here, it's best to go with the washi tape. So that's what we're going to do. Going to put some washi tape on here. Tear it. That's another reason I love washi tape. You can tear it and mold it however you like it. different look. Which I really think I'm going to like. Are any of y'all
know, like me, where you absolutely adore dolls so much, you never outgrow them, no matter what your age. That was a kind of cute little mistake I made there. I probably should have kept that. I've already pressed it down. <clears throat> so here we have, so for this, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm a fan of shabby chic and the less perfect things are the better. So if we put this across here, I think that would be kind of cute as well. Now the decision comes whether or not we want to carry washi tape all the way down. I'm going to put this on first. going to guesstimate it here. There we go. Plus it adds a little bit of mystery to the creative process. It's not to be so precise on everything and just be surprised with the result. So there she is with the of sleeves here. Now I do believe that we're ready to add the clothespin on here. I still want to make sure that her is pulled out enough because I really want, I like that look where the clothes pin. Her legs are showing through and her skirt's kind of draping across the sides. I think that's adorable. So, let's go ahead and add the clothes pin. I'm going to add the glue from here all the way up because I want to make sure that it holds really well since it's the body of who she is. Okay, so the clothespin. And take a look at this hair. I'm thinking I want to use this wonderful yarn I got here in town at our local yarn store, specialty yarn store. And I thought about giving her a little bit of hair. It's one of the reasons that I made her blonde, is I can add some hair around here, have it hang down. And I think that would just be really cute. The only thing that I really can't decide at the moment is <clears throat> whether or not I wanted to mix in the pink. Because this came in the mail in the kit. It was mailed to me to use as part of the project.
So, if I'm, I think that would probably be really, really cute. If we add the pink, since she has pink in her dress, and add that with the blonde. I thought that would just be really cute. So, let's see if we can't get her some hair going here. So it's going to be the same length as the pink for the hair. Let's get a bunch of strands on here. So I'm just going to loop it. Keep looping it till I get a bunch, and I'll be right back. Sorry about the video being shaky in the last segment. I have a fan up here going, and it was shaking the camera. So I turned it down a, a little bit, so hopefully that will take care of the shakiness. So this is what I have thus far. I glued her hair on. Added a pop of purple tulle bling to her skirt and loosely painted the back of her head. I then added a button to the bottom of her clothespin feet to make her stand up. Then I set her aside to allow her to dry for a bit. I have used almost all of the elements that were mailed to me by fellow artist Sky Sword. And the one who took the time to put together the artist challenge for the group. And I just wanted to say a shout out to Skye and thank her for putting together such a fun challenge and mailing all of us these fun goodies that were used in this project. I really enjoyed thinking of ways to put your items to good use with this clothespin project. Now all I have left are two items that I received in the mail. <clears throat> this blue netting and the blingy purple flowers. So let's add those now and I'm going to then introduce this girl as Penelope. I kept hearing in my head as she was being brought to life that her name is Penelope. So let's see here. I'm a little concerned about adding this since she's going to stand. I don't know if it's going to topple her head or not. So hopefully not because I really wanted to add this. I just need to figure out here how I want it to go. I want to go this way. Probably I want it to go like that. Maybe. So let's try that and see how it goes. Yeah. Glue that there while well, that is drying. Let's see. Now, where to put these cute little doodads? Ah, I think I figured it out. We'll put one here. And 
Now this I do care about a little bit of perfection because I want them to be straight across from each other. And I'm thinking about tying this around the back to maybe get a little bit of control of her skirt standing out so far. So we'll see how it looks. And then she can stand up perfectly. You can't see her from that angle, but she's standing up perfectly. So here she is, everyone. And thanks so much for watching, and please don't forget to check out all the other fun tutorials and videos that are newly created for this Love Summer Art YouTube collaboration. Remember, all you have to do is type in Google or YouTube and search for the hashtag Love Summer Art to find all the lovelies out there. Take care. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm one of those that creates as I go along and I really don't have a plan. I just see how things are looking and just what comes about from the process itself. Okay, so we're going to cut her out wise with her head. I don't want her head to look ginormous, but since she is a little whimsical, I don't want it to look too small either. So, let's see what this does for her. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. So, what I'm going to do is check out her top again with the washi tape see how we like it I want to get all the colors in there too pull it over okay And we can come over here and I think another thing that I want to do with her is to give her some arms that move which are articulated in several sections these might be too heavy I'm not really sure I have some that I have cut out for my silhouette and I'm thinking that these might do just the trick for her they're just the size that we're looking for looks for her body kind of give me an idea of where I want to go maybe so I am going to put this here and then I can start making her skirt so there we go we have part of her body her head this is gonna go in here I was playing around last night and I found this in my little box of doodads and I decided that this would probably be cute to put in her hair something like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step back for a minute decide where to go from here and be right back okay what I've decided to do is to go ahead 
and use a piece of scrap to kind of make her body a little longer and build her a little skirt. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw her a body extension. May have to cut it off later, maybe a little big. So this will be probably her head here. And then this would bring her waist probably about here. So I'm gonna draw her a little skirt. here and more than likely we'll change this later more than likely again I think that I really really like these two pieces that were mailed to me I think I really like them Somehow fold them over. I'm going to secure them with a little glue so they don't come off. Right on here. And allow these pieces to dry and then when we're ready we can place them in her hair right here somewhere so we'll set this aside and let that dry now the rules are we can do whatever we want so I'm thinking I might use all the pieces, I might not use all the pieces, but we'll just have to see how it goes here. So, an extra piece. These are ready to paint, I think. So, <clears throat> let's get some flesh tone paint. some strips of ribbon. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is to paint her arms and use these little arms for her. So it goes this way and this way so let's put this aside for now and these are a little flimsy so I may make these a little thicker which is probably exactly what I'm going to do because they are really flimsy so Take out, I like the decorated side, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to put these on here. I'm going to use some Fabrifix. Fast dry 
quick dry glue. It works really well with gluing things down. It's my favorite medium for gluing. Take that. Glue. Okay, we'll set this side for a second and take a look at her. Hello everyone, this is Audie and welcome to my studio here outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I'm part of a worldwide YouTube artist and creator collaboration that goes from today July 17th through July 20th so check everyone out with hashtag love summer art to find what everyone else is doing they're going to have all original content for you guys I wanted to show you first some finished mermaids that I did for a mermaid swap entitled Under the Sea, which is in one of the artist group. And another thing that I'm working on currently is another project in a group. And this is supposed to be things given to you and you have to figure out what to do with it. You have a clothespin and some items sent to you and all the girls in the group that are in this project together were mailed materials to complete but you can also add your own just use your imagination to see what you come up with so yesterday I sat down and I painted the girl's face and cut her out glued her on chipboard and now I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to go with her and as soon as I sat down to film and looked at her, this is her body and I painted on her legs. I'm trying to figure out exactly how tall I want her body to be. And I'll probably use, I noticed this, I always use scraps. I recycle everything and I just happen to see this old piece of washi tape and something that I received in the mail. So I'm going to pull it off and see how it 